everyone uh, welcome back let's solve the problem b from the weekly contest 390 so you can see here i was able to solve the full four questions in the weekly contest 390 and this is not something which i achieved overnight you can see here my hard work and consistency so i was able to do like 448 days is my streak i am solving every day each problem so i recommend you like if you are a working professional try to solve at least one problem per day and try to give all the contest and if you are a student try to solve at least 3 to 4 problems per day in this way you will improve your problem solving abilities now you can see like first let's understand the problem b so before jumping into the problem i want to say that try at least this problem for 20 minutes so if you mostly you will be able to solve this problem but if you are not able to solve this problem then you can come and watch the video solutions so i hope that you have tried this problem now let's understand the problem clearly you are given a positive integer k initially you have array nums 1 so you have only nums array nums array and it contains only one you can perform any of the following operations on the array any number of times okay choose an element in the array and increment its value by 1 he is saying that we can choose any element in the array and we can increment the value by 1 and duplicate any element in the array and add it to the end of the array that means suppose if you are performing the first operations i am incrementing 1 to 2 my new array looks like this and he is saying that we can duplicate any element in the array and add it to the end so i can duplicate it and i will add it to the end in the second operation in the third operations i will add it to the end i will choose one element i will add it and in this way we need to return the minimum number of operations required to make the sum of elements of the final array greater than or equals to k is saying that sum of all the arrays sum of all the arrays should be greater than or equals to k greater than or equals to k so how you can solve this type of problems how you can solve this type of problems now if you see here we got k we got k so first uh, initial approach what i will think okay i got k and first we have one one in the my initial array after having one Uh, can i keep all ones no right if i keep all ones so it will be take k minus 1 operations so i can't do all ones and let's see can i increment one okay let's take two all twos yes i can do all twos and it's better to go with all threes is it better to go with all threes or it's better to go with all fours if my k is increasing drastically if my k is increasing exponentially it's better to increment it's better to increment so that you will get the minimum number of operations so after incrementing it we will get the sum number so i will duplicate that number in different types suppose i am incrementing it to 3 so i will duplicate every element to 3 because you can see here now if i am not duplicating suppose if you are thinking okay let's not duplicate now first we have 1 then we are taking 1 and then we are incrementing it to 2 then we are incrementing it to then we are saying i will add all twos so this is not a valid statement right because now if i am incrementing one here so it will be directly two and my extra two will be added extra two will be added that means my all value should be equal all value should be equal or all value should not be um, definitely it should be equal to reach to reach k now let's understand it with an example suppose we have k is equals to 11 k is equals to 11 i want to reach k is equals to 11 and in the if i want to keep all ones in the initial array i have one initial array we have one i want to keep all ones only i want to keep all ones if you keep all ones how many operations it will take already i have one so i need 10 more ones so it will be 10 operations so it will be 10 operation okay now in the i want to make element to 1 to 2 okay i will make element to 2 uh, it will be my one operation and to reach 11 how many more number of twos you required 11 c of c of 11 divided by 2 that means i'm i'm more required five operations right i already have one i already have one uh, uh, more i required is five c of 11 by 2 minus 1 because we have already two here so it will be six now if i am taking three if i am taking three so it will be converted to three and my operations will be 2 right so from 1 i need to convert to 2 then it will be 3 then i will do seal seal of 11 by 
minus 1 11 by 3 which is 4 minus 1 which is 3 okay still my operation got decreased then I will go with 4 let's check with 4 kya hota hai. then my array will be 4 here my operations will be 3 plus seal of 11 by 4 minus 1 that means 3 minus 1 which is 2 okay I reached only 5 in 5 steps I was able to reach now consider 5 now 5 to reach 5 how many steps you required 4 right 1 to 5 I required 4 steps then seal of seal of 11 by 5 that means this is 3 minus 1 which is 2 which is increasing okay at this point it's matching at this point it's matching so my answer will be 5 now if you see here my k is 10 power 5 so can I do can I do I will iterate to the k if I iterate to the k it will be like order of k only right so every point so what I will do is for every point for every point if I am going to 1 to 2 and after going 1 to 2 I want to make all two duplicates so I will subtract subtract some number number which I will iterate from i is equals to 1 to k 1 to k then I will subtract i minus 1 i minus 1 because the number of steps you required then plus seal of seal of my k by i k by i that means k by i minus 1 because we have extra 2 now if you see here we have 2 we have 2 then if you see seal 11 by 2 which is 6 which is 6 so total I required 6 but I two I have 2 extra here um, extra 2 I have so it will be minus 1 so it will be minus 1 so you can see here so first minimum operation is needed which will be into maximum first I will store the maximum value then then groups is equals to seal k by operations into 1.0 this is must we need to do 1.0 so it will be converted into double double or float double or float so and it will give the seal operations if you are doing k by operations so it will be an integer divided by integer you will the seal is not at all useful here so you need to convert into double and you can perform then I need the minimum number of operations needed operations minus 2 so it's like operations minus 1 plus we have groups right groups minus 1 because this is groups is seal seal so this that's why I wrote operations minus 2 plus groups and we are written in the minimum operations needed you can see here my time complexity is order of n order of n and we are not using any extra space so I think you have learned something new from this video so if you are new to the channel please do subscribe and if you like the solution please go to uh, this tab this tab and I have written the solution here so you can upload so that other people will get, get other people will get benefited from this video so I will see you in the problem C bye bye